it's the 23rd, 23 is our number. We back on. We gave them time. We gave them time to uh, get all their stuff off, man. Now it's time to take back over the game. As always, YouTube, we got to keep it clean and crispy. Hey, we're about to roll that intro while we give them time to get in the building. If you tune in, hit that like, hit that subscribe. We're about to get cracking up in this joint, man. L on the beat. Hey, while we giving them time to get in the building, we are uh, giving uh, waiting on Skype Ape to get in the building. Yeah, like we say, uh, we saw a lot of people in the crowd. You know, they were saying Young zip mouth and Young don't got nothing else. And we heard all the stuff you said. It's quite funny. We told you. All the, out of all the 800 tapes we put out so far, uh, we only talked probably out about five, less than seven books of what the master teacher put out. We still got about three, four thousand more books to go to teach from. So we ain't gonna ride information no time soon. We've been running the game since 1970, and we're gonna we still running the game right now in 2023. This is our year. We getting ready to put out the plethora of new information. So we gave them time to catch up on all the old stuff. We get ready to put out the ancient Egyptian tapes where we break down the pre-dynastic uh, periods. We already kind of like broke down it already. And we're going to go into the 46 dynasties or whatever. And we'll break that down step by step. So the guys that's out here saying Young ran out of information. He's he don't got nothing else to speak, man. We've been we being muffled. Keep in mind we being muffled, uh, and, and and banned for lack of sort of say. Hey, we got Chief Pontiac in the building, man. Let's get him on here. Oh, it's back. Hey, it's back cracking now. We told them we gave them long enough. We stalled them long yeah. enough. Go ahead. I came in. 
I came back in the game and hit this three at the last minute. We got point zero one second left, one shot in the possession of the ball, and our team is about to inbound the ball. I'm about to shoot this last three. Hey, man, look, now I'm <laughs> telling you, I had a, a long time. Hey, I had a long time to digest a lot of the stuff you said and you put out, and uh, I got a whole – like the picture that I got, the picture that I got is so clear right now. It's just so clear on who who doing us from the back and just it's, everything is clear, man. It's, it's like we, you know, hey, but we're going to get started. But um, I wanted to ask you this question man, because it's been bugging me all week, man. So what's up with the Trump? I mean, you probably don't want to talk about it, but I, like just the Trump thing. Of, I'm putting him in court. He's about to be in Atlanta tomorrow. I'm supposed to turn himself in. Is this part of the last kick and scratch uh, claw as they go out? Is that, are they trying to take Trump down with them, or what the hell is going on here, man? Uh, from my understanding, uh, the judge, one of these judges just ruled that Trump had qualified immunity, and that don't apply to him. Okay. Okay. Um, if, the, if he got qualified immunity, he must still be in office. Wow. That ought to tell you, that ought to be the clue to the Trump situation. Wow. But we gotta watch it a little bit closer. It's, all this stuff is smoke and mirrors. That's what I feel. That's what I feel. It's an actual physical war being fought on our land in the Americas right now that 99% of us is totally unaware of. All these forest fires, that's not no accident. Go ahead. They got deep state uh private militaries with private bases on private land all across the, uh, North America, Canada, and even some in Central and South America. So they've been using what we, what they call uh, um, low casualty um, weapons, basically strategic strikes with lasers. Um, all this is part of the Star Wars. If you go back to Ronald Reagan in the Star Wars program, you okay. can study they they laser beams been running. Uh, they've been using lasers in um, from satellites. Now, the irony of that is, according to flat earthers, we don't have no satellites up there. Go ahead. According to Flat Earthers, we in a closed dome, and according to Flat Earthers, they can't put the satellites outside the dome. The irony of that is, if you're a Flat Earther, you got to explain where's these energy weapons, because no planes is visible. Where are they coming from? Right. You don't see no airplanes shooting the energy weapons, so where is they coming from? That's just uh, some food for thought, but um, th it is World War Four right now. Whether we know it or whether we don't know it, the war getting fought. Go ahead. What we trying to do is let the people know that it's a whole lot of stuff going on in our face, behind our back. Everything we can't see. Okay. It's a lot of political maneuverings going on. A, a lot of uh, misinformation, disinformation. That's part of the the media influential program, mm -hmm. right? But where we're trying to get to is a critical mass of awareness in the masses of the people about their self identity. Mm -hmm. Because when they gonna have to, people gonna have to start tracing back to the oldest living matriarch in their family. They gonna have to start tracing back their heritage to where they from on the land, in order to tie back into the tribes. So whatever going on, sooner or later, we gonna be with no power for anywhere from thirty minutes to ninety days. I don't know how long it's going to last, but I'm going to tell you this. In the event that they shut everything down, if we don't know how to uh, 
how to purify water, we in trouble. If you can't walk down to the lake, grab a bucket of water and know how to make it potable to eat, cook, and drink, you got a problem. These are things we need to look at. That's right. If you don't know somebody with a firm, what you going to do when the grocery stores close down? That's what right. you going to do? Right? Because the grocery stores ain't going to be able to run when the money ain't no good. That's the BRICS nations killing the American dollar in our face in real time. We watching it, but we don't think that it's going to affect us until it affects us. So whatever going on with Trump, it's going to be a wake up call in the end. Man, you should be and, to do this shit right now. I'm on for like getting ready. Go ahead. Yeah. Well, the proper preparation prevents poor performance is what the, my literature tells me. So to be properly prepared, like I can live off the fat of the land. I know how to I go hunt me some pigeons. I don't give a shit. <laughs> I go hunt some pigeons. I go fishing. I can feed me. Right. Go ahead. Right. And I got enough know-how. I know how to farm. Right. I've been I've been doing gardens with my mama since I can remember. My mom used to tell me when we were doing the garden, and I thought she didn't know what she was talking about at the time. But she said, baby, there's going to come a time where if you don't know how to grow no food, you're not going to be able to eat. Mm. That's why I'm teaching you how to garden. That's why I got you out here while the other kids is playing, but you helping me in the garden. And you know me. I don't care, mama. Where do you want me to put these collard greens at? Right over here, baby. Put them right here next to these uh these other collard greens in a straight line. Yeah. Right? So I'm in I'm in the garden with my mama learning how to grow food. My siblings, some of them came out sometimes. I was out there all the time. See, in our culture, one of the men in the family have to learn how to grow food, catch food, whatever it is. I went hunting with my father when I was a little boy because he said that he needed his sons to know what it was like to go out and have to shoot a rabbit. So we took a couple hound dogs from one of my five friends' neighbor, went out there, went rabbit hunting. The snow was up to my knee. I'm a baby. Five, six years old. But you know what? I had the time out of my life learning how to hunt with pops. Go ahead. That's right. Right? These is cultural teachings that we used to teach the boys years ago. Man, we don't even go hunting no more. Look, they took hunting because it required you to have a firearm. And a license. Nobody from a Nobody in none of the tribes was allowed to own a firearm. If you got caught with one, they rule was to shoot your ass first and ask questions later. Damn. Because you was, was assumed to be a domestic terrorist. Go ahead. Because you were belligerent to the system that said motherfuckers look like us don't carry firearms. That was a rule. The matter of fact, if you want to check it out, pull up the recent Supreme Court ruling on the uh, right to bear arms, and they rever they just reversed it about two weeks ago. Damn. So we wasn't even you know, all this time we thinking we pardon party to the Constitution, we was excluded. As three fifths other, damn, it's right in there. All uh, we was taxed three fifths, right? Where did that come from? Due to POWs. If you a POW, you couldn't afford to be fully taxed. So all of the ones that's three fifth compromised, Dred Scott. Sleeper agents, they don't even know they're working, who they working for, but they know they're working for somebody. Right. But they don't know who it is because you ain't going to never see Mr. Charlie face. Who is Mr. Charlie? You remember the last uh, receipt drop I gave you a little earlier today, right before we got started? Yeah, I, got, I got them all. 
I'm about Hallelujah. to show you who Mr. Charlie is. His name was Charles V or Carlos Cinco. Can you see my screen? Mm hmm. Uh, uh. So we all heard that term in the hood, in the country. We was worried about Mr. Charlie, Mr. Shackleford. Who is these people? Shackleford yeah, right. is an actual last name. Where they come from? The Shackleford's. I'm getting All right, so you say, okay, the shackle forwards, the last receipt you sent me was these right here. Here we go, right here. Hold up. Right here, friend? okay. Slow down, slow down. You passed it. You passed what we're looking for. Right here? Keep going. Go back. Keep going. Okay, this is Charles V. Okay. Can you blow that picture up at all? <clears throat> you see it? Mm hmm. Okay, you see what he looked like, right? Yeah, a lot of them. All right, remember what he looked like for the next picture, okay? Read what it say. It said Charles V was Holy Roman Emperor and Archduke of Austria from 1519 to 1556. King of Spain from King of what? Spain. Spain from 1516 to 1556. And Lord of the Netherlands as titular Duke of Burgundy. Burgundy is Red House. That's a Moulin Rouge. Okay. Right? That's the Red House, the Burgundy. From 1506 to 1555. Okay? Now, go over two pictures to your right. It's going to be a picture of a native... Wait a minute. Go back one. Go back one. Okay. It's another picture like that, but it's just two people on it. Matter of fact, see that picture right there? Yeah, right here. Zoom in on that picture. Okay, now look for the cross. Go down into the body of it. See the man with the cross on the right? Just You just passed him. All the way to the right on that line. Right there. Right here. This dude right here, I'm going to blow it up. Right here. Remember, we said they look like us, but they ain't us. And here, he's called Carlos Quintos. Yeah. All right. Now, remember, we showed you the George Washington Fez Memorial of the Dirty Moors. Now, you're looking at uh -huh. the right. agreements being made with the chiefs to go into a conflict with the cross. It's right here. If you look at the staffs, you got three of them on a right shoulder. What I tell you, Noble Drew, at least yeah. say they came in high. Left bump, hostile bump. Hostile on the left bump. Now the yeah. first three in this row to the uh to the okay, it's five people to the right of King Charles. Notice yeah. what King Charles is doing with his hand. He pointed to something. His left hand is pointing to the cross. That's right. Right? Now, the the first chief is facing me. Right? Yeah. And he's pointing his staff directly at his face, not at the cross. Right? He's saying it's a head shot. Go ahead. He's pointing to his head. Now, if you look, do he look pink? No. 
It, is that a pale face man right there? No. no. Now go back to the last picture when we just read who he was. What that face look like? Pale face. Okay, now this is a uh, Dr. Suzar blacked out through whitewash exposure. Go ahead. Because they have to change their faces so they can rewrite the historical narrative. Why? Let's go to the first Dr. John uh, Henry Clark where he's saying that it was a war on our culture. It's going to say it right on the clip. As soon as it comes through, you'll see it if it's the right one. Okay. Why is it taking so long? It's just buffering. Yes, it's the kingdom. Queensland. Can you hit it? It's the Queensland. Yeah, that's not the one. We're going to use that later. Can you hear that one? Can you hear it, though? Yeah. Could you hear it? All right. Yeah, I can hear it, but you just got to turn it up a little bit louder for the people, but I, I was able to hear it. Okay, I'm going to try to uh, do it like this. So on Brother Rich show the other day, oh, um, like this. we over this one receipt from Dr. Clark where he was talking about the war on our culture. It's a couple more clips we're going to show up, but we want to start with that one. All right, let me see. It's going to be one of these. Now, that one with Bobby. It was a wall on our culture. It was a wall on the culture of all the non European people of the whole world. And that the most cultured people in the world were told they had no culture and also had no God that was worth worshiping so the European not only gave you a new psyche a new mentality new clothes to wear a new God to worship wow. then he didn't have to build jails his building jail was redundant because he already had you in one. That, that the end of it? That slavery was a wall on our culture. It was a wall on the culture of all the non-European people of the whole world. And that the most cultured people in the world were told they had no culture and also had no God that was worth worshiping. So the European not only gave you a new psyche, a new mentality, new clothes to wear, a new God to worship, then he didn't have to build jail. His building jail was redundant because he already had you in one. That's it, right? Okay. There. Okay, now he said he didn't say that the colonization was the war on our psyche. Uh-huh. Dr. Clark is a wise, what we call a wise old coon. Yeah, go ahead. Right? So the coon, you got to remember, is a totem animal. You got to remember that when we say this. Okay, go ahead. Dr. Clark is telling us that the war on our culture was passed off as our history beginning with some stuff called slavery. Go ahead. Right now, notice he said the most cultured people in the whole world was reassigned 
um, no culture by Europe. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Okay, so we're talking about the invaders alternate strategy of warfare. In order for you to really understand what he's saying, you got to understand the importance of history, which is the other clip. Right? Yeah. Okay, all right. Yep. So you got one on him telling us about history. Okay, I got you. And did y'all hear that one pretty good, the one I just played? All right, so we got another one right here. Let's see. 15,000 years, there's a new discovery that's changing what we think we know about how the Americas were settled. So there's this team at Florida State University that uh, <laughs> discovered stone tools alongside mastodon bones. That means they found the oldest known site of human life in the southeastern U.S. Consider that. Think about it for just a second. We're joined now by Florida State University Assistant Professor uh, Jesse Holligan. Professor Holligan, good morning to you. Good morning to you guys. So put into just layman's waking up Saturday morning, eating my Wheaties terms, <laughs> what this means, the discovery of these tools. So these bones and artifacts show that people were in Florida um, 1,500 years earlier than a lot of people except the Americas were colonized. And more importantly, a lot of us were taught that the Americas were colonized by some folks coming through an ice-free corridor from Alaska through Canada into North and South America around 13 and a half thousand years ago. That's what most high school textbooks say. That ice-free corridor wasn't open until 14,000 years ago. The site is 500 years older than that. And in Florida, which is by any stretch of the imagination, kitty corner across the continent from Alaska. So it means that we have really have to re-examine how and when the Americas were colonized. So this is, uh, this is uh, on its face fascinating, but when I look at the pictures and the images here, it's underwater. Yes. It, 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 some underwater sinkhole, is that what we're looking at here? Yes, it's a sinkhole wow. in the bottom of the Osceola River. Um, the people weren't, however, scuba diving 14 and a half thousand years ago. This was a site that would have been an isolated pond about 130 miles from the coast at the time people were here 14 and a half thousand years ago because sea levels were almost 300 feet lower then and florida was nearly twice as big okay wow. so we're just learning of this uh this morning uh as a non-archaeologist i'm mm -hmm. excited about this but tell me having discovered this what you felt what went through your mind when you realized the the implications of this discovery Oh, it was so exciting, though, to be fair, we were building on research done by a number of archaeologists in the 80s and 90s who had already done some excavations at the sinkhole. They found a tusk with um, human made, they said, cut marks, but it wasn't widely accepted by the archaeological community. So we were actually there to reevaluate their claims. And so finding the stone knife that we discovered um, really showed that they had been correct. The stone knife, there's absolutely no way that could be made by nature. Whereas some people had proposed that the marks on the cuts could, could have been caused by elephants, and by elephants, I mean mastodons st stomping around on the tusk mm -hmm. later on. And our knife showed that there's no way that wasn't done by people. So we, it wasn't that we lucked into this layer. We were really building on some previous research. But that being said, um, I don't think any of us slept the night that we found the biface. Everybody was very, very, very excited. And it's been so rewarding to get to work in that sink and uh, find these things. Well, I, I imagine you all were very excited. Uh, assistant mm -hmm. professor at University of uh, Florida State University. Let me get that right. Florida State yeah. University, because you can't mess those <laughs> no, two up. You can't can't conflate oh those. God, no. <laughs> professor uh, Jesse Holligan, thanks so much for sharing the information, the discovery, and the excitement with us this morning. Thanks for having me. Sure. Oh, yeah. Hey, unmute your phone. Unmute your uh, mic, Rod. Okay, so we want the Dr. Clark video now on the um, the importance of history. Okay, what that, that wasn't the right one. 
Mm, that was good video though because it showed you that the Americas wasn't populated through the Bering Straits as they told us in the college, in the high school textbook. Go ahead. Right, because the time frame of these people in Southern Florida clear across the land is entirely older than anybody who was alleged to have come across the Bering Strait. Go ahead. Cracking head. Right. Yeah. So the racial history, they had to repurpose your psyche okay. to support their agenda. This is the kind of war in the root. Right. Go ahead. So um um, the importance of history is to unravel these mysteries because right. history is the story they told us. The mystery is the bubbling up of the facts over time of the truth that erodes the lie. The judgment of God. That ain't, ain't the right one. Mm-mm. That's the Farrakhan kind of one. It's got to be the next one then. It got to be this one right here. Oh, that's three, four. There was a wall on our that's culture. That's the same one you already played. On our culture. Yeah, I already know it was a wall right here. All right, boom. It's only four videos. So the next one got to be it. Uh, Yo, browser. Uh, it's got to be this one. Reality, the beginning of something that we can't this even one. possibly understand based on the level. No, that pause that for a minute. We finna go over this since you pulled it up. This is important. Wow. Uh, this is a this is an intelligence briefing phone call made between two people in the military about what's going on behind the scenes. But remember, this was a fifth dimensional galactic chess game. Yeah, a fifth dimensional galactic chess game. My number is seven. Go ahead. You gotta remember that. Now play the video. of our beliefs currently, but when all that information comes flooding out, there's going to be no denying what's true and what's a lie or what's illusion. Basically what we're experiencing right now is two master chess players sitting at the board. And one of them looks down at the board and sees that he's in checkmate in seven moves. And he looks across at his opponent and he knows that his opponent sees it too. So there's no getting out of it. So at this point, the loser can only prolong the game. Mm -hmm. Both players know the game is over. It's only a matter of time before he does this and then you're forced to do this and then he's forced to do this and eventually checkmate. We, as a race, if we could understand that the game is over, that based on the rules of the game, the bad guys have already lost, the good guys have already won. Yes, there's moves left on the table, but those moves are being forced by the player that is going to win. Um, the only way the checkmate can't happen is if the player that's winning makes a mistake. But from all of the information that I've gathered, all of the information that's been given, all of the information that's been vetted to me, it seems pretty obvious that the good guy player on the side of the chessboard knows exactly what has to be done to win the game. And so at this point, any mistake would be all but impossible. But again, we really have to understand the game to know that the guy that's losing is lost and i'm sure most people sitting watching a chess match between two advanced chess players know the game's over long after the two players know it's over 
Okay. Uh, so the 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 only way to win the game without no doubt that the game is over mm-hmm. is for the masses to reach critical mass of awareness in what's taking place behind the scenes by watching what's going on in front of our face. Mm. That's when we can see the veil is gone. All of their moves is in the public domain. These receipts that I'm pulling up, ain't none of this stuff new. It's always been there, but somebody had to put the mosaic together, put the puzzle together for the people to see that this is a conjure war. Now, I sent you a series of clips on the conjure war. Let's go over there. I got you. Because you got to understand that this conjure wars is age old warfare between priesthoods. Once you understand that this has been going on since the beginning of time, and as a matter of fact, time was created by a conjure. Oh, I think we started okay. with the first one. Yep. What did you say the first one? I only want to read the last one because I don't think we're going to have time to go through them thoroughly. But these are posted. Go to the, the uh, first picture of the blood magic so I can show them the cover part picture. The other way. You went the wrong way. This one? Uh, the, go back. It's a, Keep going. It's right there. If you go on my Instagram page and pull the post up with this cover picture, <clears throat> all of the receipts for the that we about to go over the last page of, you can read. Uh, so these are questions posed to artificial intelligence to see if Rod Hayes know what the hell he's talking about when he said that the Civil War was the Kanja War and the George Washington challenge being the root. But this is going to be AI telling us where to look to find more information on conjure wars and if the Civil War had conjure involved. So this is AI answering me. Okay, let's go uh, to the last one of these. I think it's the one where we talk about the Civil War. Before that, let me see. Uh, go back one more. I think that's the one. Nope, that's blood magic. Okay, go back another one. Um, right there. Blow this one up. <clears throat> See where it say, while conjure magic may not have had a significant impact on the outcome of the Civil War, it did play a role in the lives of many people who lived through that time. For some, it was a source of comfort and hope. For others, it was a way to express their anger and frustration. All right. Now, go back Go back to the page before that. I want to read some, because it says a little bit. Right here. During the American Civil War, War both sides used conjure magic to try to gain an edge. For example, now they give you an example, some Union soldiers carried mojo bags and wore Grigri charms to protect themselves from harm. Confederate soldiers also used conjure magic, but they often did so in the more secretive way. For example, some Confederate soldiers would bury conjure powders in the ground in front of union camps in an attempt to curse their enemies. Okay, now, this is two distinct sides of the the war using the conjure in the field. Right. Right. So, when you go up, those are the books at the top of the other side. 
uh, diaspora, African root magic in American culture. Um, those are all of them. But then we go into the blood magic. This is the part where Crispus Atticus blood is the written constitution in the George Washington Masonic Memorial. That's where they used to keep it. But they also have a replica that they use when they travel. Take it around okay. and show it to other lodges. Okay. A fax, it's called a facsimile. Right? Okay. And through this blood magic is what kept us in the stupor about our history because they put a damper on the tongue where the only way we could get it out is in a song. Mm -hmm. Right? So before we were singing in the mainstream, we were singing in the fields, telling the stories. And this is why you know our people always say that we told stories in our gospel songs. Mm -hmm. They think we talk in church talk, but we knew something different. Go ahead. Right? So um, blood magic is a form of magic that uses blood as a source of power. Right? Now, if you go to that blue and red picture, those are the biblical scriptures tied to the blood magic. That was a picture of the Constitution you just passed. Right? That's what it looked like written in the blood. Right? Because it turns rusty brown when it dries out. Yeah, then they kill a guy and the right is in his, in his blood. Christmas Atticus, go to the next yeah. slide. See his right here? Yeah. It, say, it says not much is known about Attics, but most historians agree he was of mixed blood of African and Native American descent. In other words, he was one of us. Yeah. And yeah, go ahead. Okay, now this is the biblical verse, Matthew 26, 28. What do this say? For this is my blood of the covenant, but covenant means contract. That's People right. get out of this whole covenant mean contract. The That's contract right. is the constitution, this which is being poured out for many for forgiveness of sins. The sin is the sin rights, which is the Babylonian blood magic. Babylonian money magic, Babylonian sex magic. Forgive means to give favor to. Go ahead. Those acts by the blood covenant. This all in a biblical contract. Go to the next slide. Go ahead. Yeah, bro. <clears throat> this is math. Th these is the blood contract biblical links because we're going to go to Google in a minute and I'm going to have you pull up a picture of Pelosi and Trump but Matthew 23 35 right that's 68 that's my birth year and so upon you will come all the righteous blood shed on earth shall I say that again elder go ahead and so up on you will come all the righteous blood shed on earth from the blood of the righteous Abel, which means worker, to the blood of Zechariah, son of Brechian, who you murdered between the temple and the altar. That is the homicide that we know as Christmas Atticus getting shot. Right there. Right, they tell these is all they call. I'm just telling y'all what they saying, and then I'm showing you where I'm getting it from. Okay, now lamentations. What do that mean? Lamentation is a is a cry. It's a plea. Right. So this is somebody who's crying about something. Right, it say, but this was for the sins of her prophets and the guilt of her priests, who shed the blood of the righteous in her midst. And what do they call America, gender-wise? Her. 
the woman, the, the, the Babylon, the, the whore, the great whore. Right. You know? Yeah. So when they talking about who shed the blood of the righteous in the midst of her, that mean that some sisters seen what was going on. Go ahead. You, you want something, Roy? Go ahead. Right? So yeah. when you understand how the blood magic works, then you understand why they wrote the Constitution in Chris Pisaticus' blood so nobody won't be able to contest it. Now, if you go back to, I sent you a clip, Article 77 of the Iroquois Constitution. That was toward the last receipts I sent you. Okay, all right. Oh, stop. That was important. This was the first one to identify the source of the attack on our psyche. Carter G. Woodson. Right? He famous for a lot of things. But telling us the mechanism by which they controlling us ain't one of them until today. Go ahead. Carter G. Ritson wrote in the Miseducation of a Negro. That's where you find this paragraph at that he's writing in the book called The Miseducation of the Negro. This is the unlock your mind. He said, when you control a man's thinking, you do not have to worry about his actions. You don't have to tell him not to stand here or go yonder. He will find his proper place and will stay in it. Wow. You do not need to send him to the back door. He will go without being told. In fact, if there is no back door, he will cut one for his civic benefit. His education makes it necessary. Wow. This is how voodoo works. This is the real voodoo. See, when you balance out the, the earth nature of the individual, the earth will guide you to where to find all of these little pieces and show people what you're talking about. Right? Let's go on to the, uh, the one we was on our way to. Yeah, you killing the game, bro. You putting it, you saying a lot. All right. Uh, you so you said a clip. Which one you wanted, Rod? It was uh one of the last ones I sent you. Okay. All right. Let's go back. Let's go back. Let's go back. All right. This is. Yes, it's the kingdom, but it's the queen's land. That's a good time to play this. Because of the matriarchy. You can't hear, right? Because of the Tell you something if you can, Elder. All right, I had to do it like this. I had to play it. Let me play it like this. I had to play it like this through video. Ain't that it highlighted? Yeah, that's, that might be it highlighted. Let me try to. I had to do it like this, though. Put it as a video file so it can play on the screen. Oh, okay. I got you. Like this, yeah. Man, you 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 saying a lot, Rod. You saying a whole lot right here, man. It's voodoo, it's man. That. It's voodoo. It's, it's blood, voodoo. That's all Babylonian it is. Man. Yeah. It's the beginning of something that it's, you can't uh, even possibly understand. Hold on, it's not that. It's got to be the other one. They said that's the only videos. The whole. I know I ain't played all the videos. Mm hmm. Because it's, it's some of them ain't come up. I sent you two more Dr. Clark videos. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you sent me uh, the, the, uh, the the two Dr. Clarks. One, both of them was both of them were the same thing. He's like, you sent me the same thing twice. I sent you three of them all together. Uh, <coughs> it was a wall right. on our culture. All right, hold on. Let me, let me go back to this this photo. Yeah, I might have to play it like this because. It ain't pulling up all the videos. Oh look. Man, they wrote it in that dude blood, man. They shot him then, did it right on his man. And these, these people are sick, man. They everything they do, you know they left us the clues. We just had to be learn what the secret societies do. 
And this is why Noble Drew Ali had to put their secrets in the open. Who else put their secrets in the open? Right. You remember? Alistair Crowley. Yeah, Alistair Crowley. They ran them up out of uh what's they ran them up out of there too. Uh an end of this reality. Okay, that's one just for you. The slavery. That's Dr. Cole. America is that's him. Hidden for nearly fifty. That's the Yes, it's the kingdom, but it's the Queen's land. It's the Queen's land because of the matriarchy. It's the matriarchy because of the mitochondria to the land. The queen is the most powerful chief on the chessboard. You're not rocking with her. You must be playing checkers. Peace, love, and life. Okay, all right. That brother mm-hmm. spoke his piece. Let him let him hear Farrakhan. Because he already told him. America is facing the judgment of God as we sit around this table. Look at the weather. Look at the world turning down on her. America is bankrupt. $13 trillion in debt. And if you figure... Medicare and Medicaid, she's over $60 trillion in debt. She can never pay it. That's why she voted for $650 billion in armament, because she can't pay the debt. But she can bully those whom she is in debt to with fear over her military prowess. Um Wow. Wow. So, in in the, our judgment, mean is to make a decision. Uh huh. So Elijah Muhammad already told us America was about to fall. Yep, the fall of America. And then Baba already told us we had thirty years from nineteen seventy to get ready for what was coming. Right. So in 2000, they take Baba off the scene. So now we have to readjust all of the pieces on the board. The lead piece, the lead pieces now have to fall to the back. So now you got to let what's called your second rank advance across the lines. Your second rank on the fifth dimensional chessboard is your flying kings that came from the checkerboard on the patriarchal agenda and landed on a chessboard to try to conquer a matriarchal domain. So you capture the flying kings. All that mean is the ones that be flying around in airplanes in the public, like they really running something, right? They just checker pieces on the chessboard. That's your politicians, your flying kings, the ones that go around and pretend to be delegates on the behalf of a secret society. Acting like they the royal families, but all the time, they just flying kings on the chessboard. They in the wrong domain. So now with all of the flying kings from the checkerboard, the red and the black checkerboard, Scottish Rite 32 degree Freemasons land on the black and white chessboard. They in the domain of the queens. Right. This how their game is played. I'm just telling y'all how it's played in the domain of the queens. When the flying kings, what we call them aliens and we call them Anunnaki's and all that shit. It's a game. Go ahead. It's a game for the man. Remember Dr. Clark said it was a war on our culture by giving us artificial minds, making us believe something about ourselves that was collectively untrue. Go ahead. This is the game. So all of the secret societies, <clears throat> mama's boys, y'all call them masons. But um, they the mama's boys to the queens. All of the queens got one son that they picked that, that to defend the family 
against spiritual and physical threats. Go ahead. I'm the worst of mama's boys. I'm number seven, and they call me last. I came in on 10. That's November the 10th. Initiated 10 toes down at birth. Right? On the 45 on the 10 15 time slot. Go ahead. Go ahead. Right. Given the time share or the queen's share of the pie on the upright. Because one through nine had to be exhausted before I can get my chance to turn the clock. Right? So when everything turn around, people becomes aware yeah, of the okay. games being played. Right? They, they catch on to the illusion that's being played. The flying kings from the checkerboard, the fake kings, became the cat's paw. For the opposing team on the chessboard in the Queensland on the black and white. Go ahead. The black and white is the protectorate degree of the shrine, your Scottish right, in all red house activities. The shrine is the shrine that the black Madonna is seated in on the red house. But you can't see it through the red house unless you're looking from the blue house. Otherwise, you're seeing mirrors. That's right. So you have to rescue the queen, right, from the minaret. Remember how they always got the queen in the tower, right? Go ahead. The tower is the rook on the chessboard. Go ahead. This is your L rooking. Your black peace stone nation. So now it goes to, okay, if this is on the blood house, right? If this is true, that means that uh, Angel Bay, Jeff Ford, if it's true, he's going to send a bishop. That's right. He's going to send a bishop out west because he can move at an angle. The angle is to organize Piru, the blood nation, right? To give them a structure for redeeming our land from the enemy when the time comes. It's called an OG call on the West Coast, mm -hmm. but we use literature in the Midwest, right? So the, who would be the bishop? We know him as T. Rogers. Go ahead. Right? So the bishop went out on a T. In masonry, that's called a T squared. That's a unit of measure. Right? And the T crossed the top of the I. <clears throat> right? And T.I. take us back to ATL. Now we're talking about the historical perspective. Why ATL? Wow. Right? ATL is Atlanta. Yeah. This is this is where they begin establishing the, the Dawes role, switching us out. Go ahead. They're shifting the pieces on the chessboard because they're gonna block all of the institutions with pale faces. Go ahead. But pale faces got mama's boys too. Go ahead. Right? So yeah. what mama say? I'm going to talk to the pale face sister over there to send some of the mama boys to go inside where you can't go and put the secret out in the open. Go ahead. Right? So Aleister Crowley, the wickedest man in the world, Right? That's what he feigned himself, the great beast. Left hand path magic. Red Lodge. Freemasonry. He said, I went in there and got all of this knowledge so I can come out and put it in the streets. Franz Bardon. Initiation into Hermetics. Right? Hermetic rites. T. 
teaching the mystic how to be a mystic in written format. Hey, keep going. Blue keep House going. Knock, right hand magic. So Franz Bardon and Alistair Crowley met and they didn't want to meet again. That's two men shaking and going a separate way, separating red from blue. All of these things are structured for us to remain in perpetual ignorance if we don't never figure out that the games they play. And Felipe Wins sang the song, Games People Play. Right? So if you don't know the game, and the game is the game of life, that's a street knock. And if you're knocking up and down the street, you must be a concrete gorilla because you're rocking in the concrete jungle. That's right. So these gorillas start knocking the ground, we start bouncing off these skyscrapers. And we make a very peculiar sound as we knock around. Pillar to post, we go. We gonna go get these mothers out one way or another. Go ahead. It's a game of awareness of self and your identity to where you belong on the land. The secret is if you put your palms to the earth and your forehead and your knees and you ask Mother Earth where you belong, you're going to unmistakably know if you're from this land or not. And if you ain't from Earth, she might cut you off anyway, so it ain't going to matter. The whole script, narrative, all of this technology is ancient. There's nothing new under the sun. We've done this before. Every close out of age, we do the same cleanup from a different system. Whatever didn't work, we cast that off. We keep what worked. And we let the society run in the era until you get to the point where you can take all of the errors out. That's what you call moving into a golden age. Hey, somebody asked. Right. Go ahead. Uh, take all the 33 degree masons good or how did that connect with the uh, what we're talking about now? Look, it's Alcondra. Go listen, ahead. It's Alcondra. Listen. Listen to the bad. It's a game of universal good cop, bad cop. It's a game of universal who right, who wrong. In the God mind, if there's a possibility of anything, it's a certainty of everything. Mm -hmm. Right? If you can conceive it in your psyche, it's going to play out in the reality or else it's not possible to exist. It just might not play out in the <clears throat> manner you see it. <laughs> right. To me, 33 degrees is like, dealing, it's really all a scrunt. It's really we're dealing with Big Mama's calendar about the degrees. When the sun coming in in Tropicana, when the sun coming in in springtime, it's really dealing with, they. it's really, you know, like Dogon teachings. What hey, I'm that? finna send you this again. It's gonna be hard for me to slide it to this computer because I'm on that. I'm on my other computer where I had to slide it to my. I had to slide it to that computer, then slide it to the hard drive. So, I, but I ain't. I ain't in that room. I'm in the. I'm in the back room because I'm gonna re. I'm gonna reset my office up to this back room. But I had did it yet. So I'm gonna. But I'm gonna have it done tomorrow, so I can be able to do everything. Hey, broad, you cut out. I'm here. Oh yeah, so like if you send me something now, I won't be able to slide it to this laptop right here. I only have to slide it to my other laptop, and then put it on my hard this hard drive right here, then slide it to this. Okay, computer. we don't even worry about it. So um, about an hour, you want to take some take about thirty or forty minutes worth of questions? Because we got a lot. Of yeah, we can do. Do we can go to Q and A. All right, because we got a lot of people on here asking a lot of questions. Uh, hey, if you got your got some questions for the brother Rod concerning uh, the topic, uh, okay, somebody asked, and I think he talked about that already. Is California going to flood? What about the different safe zones, Rod? Look, it's floods happening in California already, Vegas mm -hmm. or Nevada, I should say. 
this because of the changing in the flow. When the water, when the when the pole center reverse polarity, it's gonna have to have an effect on land, air, and water. Thanks. We gonna see the effect on the meters by reading Schumann resonance, watching the changes in the frequency, because this is a these are notes, musical notes coming from the center of the earth that's being read by machines that man made to read them. Yeah, right. Yeah. Right. So they can show you what the Schumann resonance is doing. And if you're watching what the soul, how it's responding to the solar rays, exactly. then that unlocks to you the connection of heaven to earth. The sun representing the crown chakra, right? And the crown chakra talk to the heart chakra represented by the earth. And it's the heart and mind, right? Mm -hmm. Is the balance between intelligence and creativity. Right? And it's the, the ability to be able to assimilate masculine and f feminine understanding of the mechanics of life. Right, so we gonna see flood zones, but Mother Earth gonna tell you to move if it's time to move. Watch the animals. Hey, watch the bird. Watch the bird. I've been telling people this for for ever since I've been doing this. Watch the animals. Thanks. When they say get gone, get the fuck gone, because they not gonna stay where the disaster going to be and they going to understand what Mama Earth said before you ever figure out she said something. Yeah. Yeah. That's right, Rod. That's true. Pay attention to the animals. They going to tell you. Men setting fires in warfare right now. And it serves another purpose of given the alternative explanation for the red iron oxide that's going to be permeating the atmosphere more and more on the next upcoming months or so. Man, it, more I cities mean, yeah, man, more cities going to be reporting their dust on their cars and all that stuff. They're going to be putting it on social media. Y'all going to see it? That's right. Right. Now, like Hawaii, always burnt to the ground. Hawaii, yeah, man, damn. Some energy. people think it's the rust from the dome cracking open. <laughs> <laughs> this is rusty oh, shed. It been closed so long. Oh man, you think it's crazy? That shit made but, my head hurt. Like a nigga's look, like, you know. hey, God, whatever man. happened. Whatever happened, I know I'm reading this. Rust from the dome. <laughs> what the nigga say, bro? What the fuck? Oh, shit. Niggas is getting dumb and dumb. Niggas get dumb and dumb. Look, I, 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 I don't have no. Yeah, right. Go ahead. Look, I got every, every concept of what the earth is is true and not true at the same time. Yeah, so like, we, you know, we, we, we look. Yeah. We in perpetual creation by mutual agreement by coming to a synthesis at the same time. Yeah. When the mind is split, we have a Mandela effect. Go ahead. But when it comes back together, then the Mandela effect comes into a new reality. It merges two timelines together to bring unity between cosmic forces. It's 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 a conceptual physics formula scattered out in story format in fairy tales and mystery stories. Legends of old, right? Because what's in your subconscious comes from the superconscious which goes is filtered through the earth consciousness itself. Somebody asks, what's going on? Okay. Somebody asks, what's going on? Hey, before you, before you answer this question, though, my next thing, because, they, because hey, how long? Because Bible said 2030, this will be 
He said that we'll go through these seven years before 2030 where they rip, where they're being ripped out. And it's just like you're saying right now, they're throwing fires, they're doing all this stuff to make it chaotic on the, chaotic on the land. So we got how how long do you think we got of this this chaos? Like, and you like I heard you say earlier that we're gonna need to it's gonna be uh you say in between a week to six months, I think you said, or 90 days. That we had that, that's the blackout. Okay, the blackout. The, so what? Uh, the blackout can be uh, anywhere from. Okay, go ahead, go ahead. Right, it, it could be anywhere from the black be anywhere from thirty minutes to ninety days. Okay. Right, the cease movement can be a cease movement for anywhere for a couple of hours to ninety days. When they block the interstates and shit. Yeah. Right now, what was was a catalyst in the forest fires is if a caravan of deep state actors hit a highway, they can shut them all down. Wow. So you remember, they got private armies in the woods on private campgrounds or private, I should say, ranching grounds. Quartier. And they got little villages carved out in the middle of the woods. So they be burning the village out, but if they happen to escape and hit an interstate, they'll shut all of the interstates down so you won't know which interstate they using to where they fighting that war. Hmm. This it's um basic on uh, understanding of military protocol will show you an idea of what kind of catalyst would cause them to shut down the freeways in continuity of government status. The only thing that would cause them to have to shut the freeways down is if they know that a whole army of these motherfuckers in the state and they got to shut a freeway down, but so they don't know that they know exactly where they at, they'll shut them all down. And now they keep us wondering what the hell going on. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. But they over there blowing up shit, tearing up shit, setting shit on fire, and reporting it to us later on as a forest fire. It was a bad fire in Idaho, somewhere in the middle of nowhere, or in Canada, it was a big old wildfire just bust out. No, they set those fires for a reason. Yeah. Remember, I'm going to give you a reference <clears throat> about them using fire to clear the forest embankments. Mm -hmm. If you go back to the Vietnam War, they was using Agent Orange and Napalm clearing the forest for the soldiers to be able to get in there. Mm -hmm. That's the same oh, thing they're doing now. But now they ain't got it where they can burn small patches and trap you in the middle of it. Mm. See, they didn't got surgical with it because they can use laser beam precision with fires. Yeah. Literally. That's right. <laughs> it, 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 it did Direct the same thing during the Seminole Wars. The Seminole Wars. They, they burned them into, they burned all them trees down. Like you was talking about in Florida, all them big trees we had. They burned them down and they, they like surrounded them with, with a fire to get them in one little closed area so they can come down on them. Now remember, we used to walk treetops if we wanted to from Louisiana to Florida. That's right. That's right. Now remember in, in, in early colonial America, the big deal was being what? A lumberjack. That's right. Right? So the lumberjacks is the ones who continue to clear the land in the uh, ceasefire period of the um, contract. Uh -huh. They still don't. They still. So now you can drive long stretches between Arkansas, Alabama, Georgia, and Mississippi to Louisiana and see patches of open area that wasn't yeah. there before. That's right. Right, they use them to build the disposable houses. We didn't build disposable houses. This shit they build and call it houses now. None of our craftsmen that's native to our culture would agree with it. 
ahead. That's not how. That's not how we built. We have, quality was more important. Quality was. We wanted to build a castle, so we used stone, so that mug could stand up for a long time. That's right. That's right. Right. This dog. That's a cultural phenomenon. Pyramids is a cultural. Yeah, pyramids is a cultural phenomenon. It's only one culture in the history of the world that ever did built pyramids. Go ahead. Right? Because the people that y'all calling Kemet, your dynasties of Egypt, they just came and strolled over some ruins of the shit we left behind. Go ahead. Right? So they cleaned up a little bit of sand from around them and set up their empires. Right, reenactment of historical events that took place there by looking at the hieroglyphic depictions telling you the stories. Yeah, go ahead. Right. You know, you know so you was asking about a uh, a time frame. Yeah. I can't give you a time frame. I can give you a reference. Can you go pull ahead. up Google? Yeah, I can think I can. Go ahead. I think I can pull up Google. Let's see. I need some more of that now. T. Uh, okay, where I'm going? Where I'm going? Google. Yeah, I noticed we use we use clay. We had a lot of clay dirt over here, so we use like a lot of clay dirt to make our bricks and shit out of. Like especially over like mm -hmm. on this. Look, us those from Mississippi know what I'm talking about when I say is we used to eat the clay dirt. Yeah, right. My mama and them eat it. I'm telling you, they used to eat that clay dirt. Yeah. Because My it was so nutrient, it was so nutrient dense and it was compatible to our system. And it's a cultural phenomenon to us from the South. Uh, That's why I say it. The doctor, well, this is what the doctor said that when they eat that clay dirt, it means they iron is low. They got a lot of iron in that clay dirt. That's what they were saying. They got a lot of nutrition, not just iron. Okay. Go ahead. I'm on Google. Type in, type in Trump announced year long celebration. Now, remember, I told y'all when it's over with, we have a Mardi Gras from coast to coast. Right? You remember saying that? Yeah. Go to videos. Right there. 250 years? Yep. So, just to give you, before this can happen, all this BS we're going to see how to be fit before this can take place. And this is going to give you a time frame. And you can do political yeah, commentary. Yeah. You gotta take the mute off. Can you hear it? You gotta take the mute off of it. It's on mute. Yeah, mute is off. See, I had that for you to hear the video on like I had to have it downloaded on on um on here. You had to have it downloaded to hear the video. So all the videos we played, I already had it. You can read so you can read what it say. You, look, we can read yeah, what yeah, it okay, say. Right. All right, go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Entire year of festivities across nations starting on Memorial Day 2025 and continuing through July the 4th, 2026. Then you're going to announce the, the World Fair, the Great American State Fair, a new unique one year exhibit featuring from all 50 states. That's where they release all of the uh, technology at.
Did you see it? Elder? Yep. Can you hear me? So, yeah, now. So, you can stop oh. it. Oh, shoot. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so, y'all know what to look up. If y'all can hear. Look, so they know what to look up on that Trump video. So before that can take place, this stuff got to be cleaned up thoroughly. Wow. Got to be over with. That can't happen. No, it got to be already done before that. Okay. Right. They got to get ready for it. If you're gonna have a year uh, a year long national celebration and dignitaries coming in from around the world on a large scale, you have to prepare. Infrastructure need to be in place. That's right. Yes. E even if we were under the current conditions, if it was to drag out like it is now, it wouldn't be a functional enough system to sustain the support of having that type of event take place on the land. Right, right. So by the time that get done, everything got to be a wrap. Because the infrastructure got to be put in place to facilitate something like that. Right, you need to reorganize security forces. You know, you got to make... Yeah. It, we, it ain't going to be no president. Yeah. Or oh, ain't going to be no president. Not like it is now. This this is a wrap. All right. Hey. This is I want you to type in and Google. Go ahead. Iroquois Constitution, Article 77. Hold on, just a I got you. Or Section 77, I think it is. <laughs> you see it? Go to the second one. So if if you can't get into it, don't worry about it. But this is this is look it up. Let's see if they got it under images. It might be under images already. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put article seventy seven or put section seventy seven yeah, yeah, yeah. behind it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I, uh that's what I, that's what I was missing. Seventy seven. All right. No, it's not showing up. Yeah, but what is it? It was about the treaty. The, the treaty we got made to end the conjure. Yep, to end the um, to in, yeah, to sever the contract. Right here. You, so you, you you obviously read it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I I remember you going over there before. I remember you going over uh this before on um. I want to. We say went over some of the uh. Some of the Iroquois Constitution before yeah. we went over the Indigenous Rights Act of the UN and the United States. Yeah. 
right? We went over. Oh, this is what I want you to type in. Because <clears throat> this, this is the end of the Bible, kind of. <coughs> Type in Pelosi Rips Bible. <coughs> there you go, right here. It's actually a video of her ripping the Bible. That was the conclusion from the political side from the uh, Bible conjure. Says he ripped the president's. Uh, let's see here. So, what's her position? You remember her position? She is a speaker of the house, ain't it? Uh, yeah. Now, what's the who is the speaker of the house in relation to the people? She is the president. The speaker of the house is the president of Congress, the leader of the congressional delegation. Right. Those are supposed to be duly elected officials. Now, remember, they just said. Over 60% of them was never sworn in under the Constitution. Why is that? How is that possible? Right? Because you know, the, this is showing you that the illusion of legitimacy breaks down when you really start to investigate it. Take out Pelosi and put Trump flips Bible. This happened on the same day, by the way, <clears throat> or in the yeah. same week for sure. Trump did it in front of that church. Mm hmm. Right here. Yeah. That was the conclusion of the biblical contract on the blue house. See, so you got the blue tie on? Yep. Yeah. He don't really wear a blue tie. He really wear a wig all the time. Depend on who he's talking to yeah. or who he's talking for. Right, or like like uh, Dick Gregory said, it's one with the blue tie and one with a red tie. <laughs> you know what I'm it's two. Choices. So it, this is also uh, an image icon from a voodoo painting, signifying what to look for. Go ahead. If you look at this, look at him holding the Bible. It's a picture of the Baron holding the Bible down. Telling them to flip the contract. That's the contract in. Yeah. Because why would they just take a picture of him holding that Bible like that if that didn't mean that? You know what I'm saying? Mm hmm. That that got to be some. Because like I say, I know these fools. How they be doing alchemy? How they be doing? They be doing a lot of shit that they hoping that over our head. That they hoping that we still asleep on this shit. But niggas exactly. like Rod Hayes always come out and point them niggas out, right? They weren't expecting that. I'm telling you, they weren't expecting that shit, man. They weren't expecting a no little nigga to come along and say, look at this nigga, how he holding that Bible. <laughs> yeah, nigga. Yeah, but, yeah that's, okay, so let's just say he was inside to flick up. Yeah, go ahead. What's the eyes of Pelosi ripping the Bible up on the same day? Theatrically saying, I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah, you just putting the logic, like putting it together, like two and two together. Yeah. Two, one plus one is two, nigga. You know what I'm saying? Okay, now the irony is before this, <clears throat> they already gave a 400 year commemoration which was the duration of time the Bible gave to hold the children hostage that church is like it's boarded up too look type in Senate announced 400 years
Okay. I think it's sin and S E N. They passed this as a law in twenty. Think twenty seventeen. It might have been 2019, but it was to recognize 400 years of uh, captivity in Babylon, so to speak. This, this, this. In America. African Americans. <clears throat> You might have to go to all for or go to video because it actually is a video. I, I did know the bill. I forgot the name. I forgot the number of the bill. <clears throat> Uh, for a person that asked what was going on with Mercury while he doing that, um, I haven't been uh, watching the uh, astral events. I've been watching, been reading them through Earth events. So I can't. I'm I'm not right now. Uh, stayed up on that one to give you a competent answer. All right, hold up. Here I go, Rock. Hold up. Can you see, you see my screen? Um, yeah. Hold up. Shit, what the hell? All right, there you go. Hold up. Is it typing? Hold on, my computer still is speaking. There you go. I come from chilling juice on your keyboards, boy. <laughs> nah, my, my son be having candy and sticky fingers, so it's, 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 it's like, or it might be a seed or something. Like that. You say, hey, look. Uh, what was, what was that? What would you say? That's Senate what now? Uh, Senate recognized 400 years African American. Okay. Yeah, they, they go with the African American shit. Yeah. But they really <clears throat> point out a Bible um Narrative. Try videos. All right. Right here. Yep. Which one? This is the bottom one. Wait a minute. Hold on. Try to. Uh, wait a minute. Scroll down. All right. Trump speaking on four hundred year anniversary of Jamestown. Black history, government. I think it might be this one right here. That one right here. Four hundred. It might. Years that gotta be it. <clears throat> All right. Let me try to throw that one up there. Boom. African American history. Oh yeah, this was that governor they got on her behind, didn't it? About this. No, this ain't the one. It's an actual bill being passed on the Senate floor. Um, hold on. Maybe I, maybe I go to uh, change the word announced to recognize. Uh, shit. 
R E C. Oh shit! Tell him my band down. Shit is sticking again. Gab does it. Four hundred years. There you go. First one. Yeah, it's even the same shit as this right here. The American African Act shit, whatever. See if it tell you the bill. Why the 400 years of African History Act is so... Yeah, this might be it right here. The bill recognize African American. Why they still selling, selling us this African American shit though? That's Jesse Jackson. Kick his old ass hard. down the stairs in his wheelchair. Hey y'all, hit that like, hit that subscribe button. Like I say, uh, my brother Raw don't do it for no. But look, money. they Where did a the recognition. Put 2019 in the back of that. See if it if that'll change. That's what is called the uh, Commission Act. Go back up to the top. Click on the um, search bar again. Hold on. Hey, close this door for me. Uh... <clears throat> Yeah, it came up. It's the it, there was a commission act, the four hundred year uh, African American History Commission Act or some. When you put the twenty nineteen in, it dropped down in the Dropbox. Oh, 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 the nineteen. I knew it was something that happened. Oh, there you go, right there. Okay, what you say? You seen Rod? Right here. You see it right here, right? Um, no, that's not it. That's a news report. It's an actual Senate hearing. Man, that some bitch ain't coming up. African American. I think this talking about it, but uh, it ain't exactly what we need. Uh, man, I feel like I'm. I need my I need my damn glasses. So this is blurry to me. Yeah, Rod, uh, we'll get with it. We'll see what's going on. Yeah, I looked on that, man. Uh, we're going over time because I, I really supposed to have been off at uh, in an hour and 30. But uh, we can take some more questions, though, and then we can get up out of here, bro. Yeah, but. Let's do like three more questions. 
Wrap it up. Yeah, Raw, as always, you always got that heat, that new heat that nobody think about. A lot of that shit might went over niggas' heads, though. You the ones who supposed to get it, gonna get it. Uh, uh, 69 Master 23. 69, 3 and 3. Raw had a cold with them numbers flipping, though. I'm telling you. 33 mean master, 69 mean balance. So they, they have it. Our DNA is circular, the, the balance master, 33. To me, they, they use that 33 degree shit. It's all dealing with, uh, like to me, it's like the sun, the motion of the sun, you know? The, the no, it's the segmentation of knowledge. It's a, no, no. it's a, it's a, it's three parts. It's a big pie. I, and I the pie to... cut in, in the three parts. 33 and the third gives a whole part to each person. Yeah, that's right. To three people out of 100%. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I'm talking about in reference to the, the what the Dogons talk about the Zodiac information. The Zodiac 33 degrees, Tropicana. Like, you know, at the Tropicana, then you got the uh, equator, and then you got the, um, what's the other one? Uh, cart, like, uh, uh, it's oh, Capricorn. Really? Yeah, so when that, that line is at 33 degrees, and that's what they were talking about when they said Jesus died on the cross, uh, he come back, he rise from the dead. It's all dealing with Dogon esoteric teachings. The 33 degrees, like, all their degrees, really. But like I say, like it, it, I, I believe it's what you said too, because it's more too. It's always a bigger perspective that you could take in on all of it. You know what I'm saying? Look, so you, you gotta, gotta remember, all of this shit is controlled opposition. Yeah, everything we see, the have and the have nots, is the pit us against us by class, right? Mm-hmm. The geek community. In the regular community is to separate us by intelligence. Okay. Right? <clears throat> Isolate people from each other, and you can keep the unity of the people from ever requiring to be free and at peace. But when the people become a unified <clears throat> voice for peace, harmony, and prosperity, and they don't accept the status quo, then they have to come out with a new system to appease the people. That's right. That's right. Right? They're not going to make everybody happy, but they can give you enough to keep you from rebelling. This is all hard. Right. So when you go back and you look, um, ancient code of kings comes from the Babylonian kings because they was the first kings to ever declare themselves kings in the queendom. So they created the valley of the kings, but in the, all throughout the valley of the kings, all of the kings are singing odes or poetic songs to the queens. So the Valley of the Kings is actually the Valley of the Echo of the King's love for the Queen. Go ahead. Right? So you got the pylons and the pillars in order to carry the echo because it creates the separation in the sound wave that measures the pace like a music instrument. Go ahead. You crack. This why you got all the long columns and rows. Right? You got to remember, we used to have booming voices. We all squeaky now. Yeah, right. Go ahead, Rod. Talk about it. The average guy used to talk like Barry White or like Michael Clark Duncan. Now we talk damn near like Little Richard. Like Little Squeaky, you got the squeaky shit now. Right. That's because we changed from the diaphragm and we went to the nasal. Go ahead. Right. So now we're not breathing from the core. We're breathing from the surface. 
And when you're not breathing deep enough, you can't think deep because you don't have enough oxygen. And then your brain's going to regulate itself to use as much of the possible oxygen as it can in order to facilitate your thought. But he ain't going to kill himself to get it done. Go ahead. Right. So <clears throat> when we learn back to go back to breathing from the diaphragm, our voices is going to adjust. And this might sound slightly vulgar, but our nuts going to drop. When we start exercising our throat chakra with it, the people going to feel it. Oh, yeah. And when they feel it, it's going to help them see it. We talking the light code. And the light code is the code that reaches the codone on the DNA. Because it's all activated memory. All you got to do is remember the earth will tell you where you belong. Put your hands on the ground. And talk to her. She'll talk back to you by dreams Thanks. and by visions. Thanks. And some shit you just gonna automatically know because you already know it. You just wasn't ready to accept it yet. Once we all start tapping back in the earth, the earth start fighting for us. That's when you get at the shrug. And that's why the importance of these sisters being healed is so high. Because they are the current carriers to the love frequency of Earth that resonate through the mitochondrial that drives the men to clean up the land. I'm just saying. You said a mouthful, man. Son. There's a kingdom come on the queen's land, right? Because them flying kings jumped off they goddamn checkerboard. They didn't know they was jumping out the frying pan into the fire. Right? They yeah. said them country boys ain't know what they was doing because they couldn't play this knock around game the same because all we know about is motherfucking milking cows and bailing hay. So they sent one of us country boys to the city to get a good education. <laughs> yeah, good education. I like that. So hey, they happy me. <clears throat> hey man, this right here the last question, man. And uh, I know people wanted to know about this. Uh Rashard Jamal, man. Uh they gave him his time or whatever. How much time did they give him? They gave him 16 years. 16 years. Now you said you was telling me something on the phone about this is a re rerun or replay <laughs> of a certain guy. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, it's a reenactment of the captivity Tucson Loverture in um, custody of the French. He just playing it all backwards to reverse the conjure, but it's still going to have the same result. He's, they still not going to be able to hold him, but <clears throat> they playing the conjure out in reverse. Go ahead. Right? You got to remember who settled or who invaded what parts of our land, and then it'll, it'll make a little more sense. Because the French <clears throat> came behind the Spaniards um, to try to settle the Louisiana Territory. We fought them tooth and nail to a stalemate at the Port of New Orleans, where they signed the Protectorate Agreement for the Louisiana Territory, which they would end up selling to the English and Andrew Jackson will use that as the pretext to transfer us over by classification as slaves, Negroes, blacks, colors, and free black men in, in law. All that was caused to take and usurp us from the land. Wow. Uh, that's, what. <clears throat> that's what I was saying, man. Like, they did a lot of shit. It took, this wasn't no overnight shit, man. They took a long time to get us to where they got us now. This was you got to you gotta remember, we went from fighting them tooth and nail, blood, guts, and gore in the Gullah Wars, in the wars in South America, bloody wars on the islands. This this wasn't no cakewalk. But what happened that made us all stop fighting? Then you get to the Kanja War. Because otherwise, we have no reason to ever stop fighting them because they still here. I, I, uh, one, when you, when you maybe go study that Seminole War, they said in that, in part of it, that they, we was killing, 
that they were killing our kids and we were killing their kids. And at one point, we just said, you know what, the, the kids really ain't got nothing. Like so we so we just calm like like calmed it you down. Know, they so, they yeah. was they was killing our they was used okay so we had a branch of Sobek priest over here who used to ride through the swamp and on fucking 30 foot alligator backs. Yeah. The alligator was like his personal raft, his dog. Um, and he used to and he could attack people for him. Go ahead. Right now, we in the swamps in the bayous of Louisiana, all the way down into Florida. Uh -huh. These these priests. So what end up happening in the wars is we be, they begin to kill us. We kill them bodies left in the water, but they would only eat the body of the enemies because they knew their own clan. So they start kidnapping our babies in the raids, and this is where you get your term. Um, um, gator bait. Go ahead. They start oh, using man. our. They start using our babies to agitate the alligators in the south to make them attack our blood. Before they had no reason to do anything to us because we were symbiotic to the to the alligators, but when the invaders came. They was hostile to us and the alligators, and it's a case of divide and conquer at that point. Man, you just said some heavy duty stuff, man, about that alligator thing. Because I heard something like that before. I heard that like the alligators didn't mess with us, and then when they started feeding the babies, that's when the, the alligators got confused and said, "We don't know who." Anybody who come down here and biting your ass? <laughs> but see, you got to remember. At the same time, they bet using our babies for gator bait. They killing the biggest, oldest gators that was passing on the, the energy secrets to the younger gators that kept them in line. It was the same in Africa in that forest preserve where all of the young bull elephants didn't have any of the old bucks to tell them. Uh -huh. Right. So they was doing that to the alligators because the Sobek priests could talk to real old alligators telepathically easy because the gator had become so mentally strong, his telepathy was almost instant. Yeah, they some of the oldest creatures in the world. Them in the hip. Yeah. Time. Right. So the Sobek priests, this you can look them up now. You can go to YouTube. Yeah, so it's Rise brother. That's the, the, uh, that's the crocodile guy. Yeah, yeah, look, yeah. that's the crocodile guy. But look, go to YouTube and type in African tribe lives with alligator with crocodiles. This is a different clan of Sobek priests. That's like denominational, like um Presbyterian and Baptist. They just on different land masses. But their religion is the same. They crocodile priests. If you want the history, look up Sobek. Study the history of Sobek, and then you will know why they was the uh, crocodile and the alligator crocodilians of all can is sacred to the Sobek priests. These are the yeah. brothers we see today that like to wear alligator shoes in the hood. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I'm with you. They got a strong, already got a strong affection for the alligator. They tribally tied to the totem animal, uh, the crocodile and the alligator. Sobek priest. Yeah, that's what they were saying. They said that, that's what them, that, that Native American said. He said, man, the crocodiles didn't attack us before the, uh, the they, they had another name for the white man. They called him something else, but he said that they didn't attack us before these dudes, these people came. Mm -hmm. he, said, he even said there wasn't no squirrels over here. It wasn't no squirrels till the Europeans came. No squirrels. I was like, damn, there wasn't no squirrels over here in America? I know that uh, during the arrival of the um, immigrants, they brought in what was called the Norwegian wood rat that mixed with the local rats and made super rats in Chicago, New York, and other major cities where they had ports. Wow. 
Yeah, it got so bad in Chicago. They had uh, super rat wanted posters stapled up in the alleys warning you about the super rats. They chase dogs and cats away. Wow. Wow. Man, that, that, that dude told me, he said a squirrel ain't nothing but a tree rat. A tree rat. Look, we, we've been eating squirrel a long time. Yeah, my dad in the South, know. listen, in the South, a lot of our eating habits was more broader than they is living in the city. When you move to the city, you begin to limit your variety of things you cook because you got more you got more of what you demand on hand. Right. And then they condition you to a certain diet and they push that diet through the local community. And that's how they keep you eating what they want you to eat. Like in Atlanta, niggas eat wings 24 hours a day in Atlanta. I, I eat fried, fried chicken. chicken wings. Look, I love fried chicken. That's cultural. Fried chicken originated over here. It didn't originate nowhere else. Yeah, it I, was I right that. down there and right down there off the coast of the Mississippi, down into Louisiana. But we call it the old bayou area. I can see that. B Big Mama used to fry the chicken legs and put them in the bowls on the counter for snacks because we ain't had no bags of potato chips. And right next to it was little squares of cornbread because we ain't have no bags of potato chips, no popcorn, no Doritos. Them was our snacks when visitors come to the house. It's a big uh, pile of chicken already cooked in case somebody hungry when they come off of a long journey. That's, that's cultural. That's ancient in the culture. Right? Yeah. yeah. You know, people think that's bad now, like eating chicken and all that. But back then, you got to keep in mind, we didn't. We raised our own shit then, you know, chickens and all that. Everybody raised their own shit. That now they mass production and hormone. It's all kind of crazy. Right. Well, they got to be able to, uh, they got to be able to effectively um, get us to consume toxins by using the pretense of preservatives. Mm. Right. You got to remember, refrigerators are only 150 years old. How do we keep our food fresh? Well, mother, I right, mother, uh, I mean, not mother, Chief Warhorse said on the land how we kept our food fresh was two ways. One, we uh, we put them behind waterfalls. They said that the waterfalls were like our natural refrigerators for our land yeah. for the buffalo meat. That's one way she said, and then another way I think it was we we did it like we we salted it and planted it. Uh, I can't remember exactly the other one, but I know one of them was behind the waterfall. Like, mm -hmm. it was like yeah. our, the, the other was, one is we used to store them in salt mines. Okay, that's what it was. That's what she said. Salt mines. Okay. You store the meat in the salt mine. It dehydrates the meat. It can't it can't rot. It and it can't build up bacteria. Yeah, the smokehouse too, I think she said. Smokehouse. Mm hmm The smokehouse smoke is what you did. That's part of the process of uh of packing it on salt. This way you got salt yeah, pork yeah, and right, all that right. stuff. That's right. That's and right. salting the meat. So salting the meats was a remember, salt used to be currency at one time. It was so valuable. Right. Motherfucker started a war with that shit. Yeah. yeah. So right. So if you understand that, you know that when we was using salt as a means of preserving food, you know why we didn't trade it internationally on such a large scale. That's right. That's right. Now they dump it in the street to keep the water from freezing in the ice on the roads. They starved us out, man. They 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 wiped out buffalo. I remember you showed that picture of all the buffalo heads that they were standing on. This mm -hmm. so this been like so to sum it up uh, about the conjure wars. So they was after all of our all of our survival way of survival. They attacked it. They was after any way they could shut us down and take control of us. You know what I'm saying? It's, okay, so this is what we was looking at. We we wasn't looking at it, but this is what they were doing. It's a warfare strategy 
The strategy is to control all of the key areas that people need for their survival to make them dependent on the system that you install it. So they sent outlaws to rob all of the big mama's banks, and then they offered to consolidate, they consolidate the banks under a central banking system because economics is the number one reason why they came. So economics was the first thing that they used to subdue us as a people. Wow. Then once they took control of the economics by shutting all the big mama's banks down, because now we in a warlock, meaning all vaults are locked. Big mama ain't opening no more chambers. Go back to the movie National Treasure if you want to know what I'm talking about. But Big Mama ain't let no more money out of her purse until we fix this problem on the land. Yeah, Jimmy so, James wasn't robbing no damn white folks bank. He was robbing Big Mama shit. You know what I'm saying? All of them my laws. This that's how they lured the banks into the FDIC protectorate agreement. Because the FDIC being a branch of the federal government would have full access to federal law enforcement. See, you got to wow. see they've been playing wow. a subtle game the whole time. Man. Type in. Nice too. You, you about to get me started on the tangent. We about done. <laughs> man, we already two hours in, man. I told my wife I was going to get off by uh, the, man, I'm already over the time because I'm I got to get, get ready to get up like 5.30. Yeah, just don't wrap us up. We got, we can do another one. Yeah, yeah, another another like, uh, we gonna come back on another one, man. We back in business now, man. We gonna get this shit. We gonna get this shit. Crazy, but look, bro. hopefully the receipts showed them. And I wish they could have seen the other uh, Doctor Clark clips. I might send them to you for the next show or something. or I might have you post them as a short. Yeah, yeah, we can come back home, man. We gonna we back in business, bro. Because everybody been waiting. Like I said, this was a perfect day to come back to the twenty third. Hey, look, I'm going to send you these two uh, videos of Dr. Clark. Post them as a clip for okay, people to see. You. Hey, yes, yeah, send it. Yes, yeah, send that to me. I got you. I got you. Hey, y'all, hit that yeah. like. Hit that subscribe button, man, if you're new to the channel, man. Hit that, uh, you know, that bell. Like I say, the, my yeah. brother Rod don't do it for the money, but if you want to show him some love, like we say, we've been posting this cash app. Every five minutes for the people that have been asking, you want to show them some love. Everybody, we got like a thousand people on here. Everybody send them a dollar, man. Put them in the game. Yeah. They ain't going to hurt you a dollar. You know what I'm saying? Put so, them in the game. most of the day, what we were doing, Elder, is going over the, some of the receipts about what I spoke about on Brother Rich show. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, the study group is how the New Wabians be teaching each other when new information emerge. So going on the back of what Dr. Clark said, reviewing what I was telling people on Brother Rich, we was able to show them varying different receipts, but they still got to do their own deeper investigation. And I even told them where to look for other stuff. So it, once you see that this this is the this is the chess game, then you understand that this is the and then you understand that this is the checkmate. Because you'll be able to see it all playing out. And with that, I that's all you, I got. Man. That's all I got for the day, Elder. Hey, Rod, somebody asked, did you have a PayPal? I only got cash out. All right, so yeah. Uh, we'll probably get, get, them, get them lined out on that later. PayPal. I know y'all got or maybe you could get the send it to somebody and then they send it to Raw. You know, you know, who play cat like so yeah, hey, like we're gonna be back, y'all. We like you say, y'all love me and Raw when well, we come on because we can do like I say, we just warming up. This right here is just a warm up, baby. We this is a warm up. We back now. Like we finna as the shit unfold as this war unfolds and as the, the different mechanism happen because they put a black lady on Trump. He will turn himself in tomorrow. We're going to see what go down on that. We're going to keep you updated. Now but, just uh, remember, they also reporting that Trump, uh, the judge yeah, ruled Trump was, was, was uh, immune, has quite qualified immunity. Hell so yeah. that's, what, 
So that's another thing we got to go investigate. I just seen uh, um, a little thing on it, but I'm about to go look deeper into that because I want to see where the judge was at and a couple more other things about it. Man, this shit ain't going to, none of this shit going to stick on this dude. This is deep, this is deep state trying to keep this man from being another the president again. This what this look, is. His name, Agent Orange, for a reason. Yeah, right. <laughs> you can see all these hey. fires, right? You see all yeah. these fires, right? Yeah. And what I tell you, they used in Vietnam to burn down them forests. Agent Orange. Agent Orange and Napalm. So, okay. did my granddad tell me about that? Yes, sir. He said they, they, they snipers can hide in them damn trees real good, and they would they, they were little niggas. They could hide down in a in a little bitty small tunnel. You know what I'm saying? They go to them tunnels. Them was the tunnel racks, but them came after they had started burning down the trees because now they got they can't hide in the treetops no more. Yeah, that's right. That's right. <laughs> hey man, and then he said they used to drop little leaflets uh when they was over there. He said, Man, nigga, go home. This ain't your war. <laughs> White man, black man, go home. This ain't your war. <laughs> they was trying to tell them the whole time. They did. You know who Stokely Carmichael is, right? No, uh, uh, I feel like I heard that name before, though. Uh, I can't think. Doctor Carmichael was a uh, was an active activist in the '60s, and um, he went over to meet with um, Uncle Ho Ho Chi Minh, and he told him, "Please tell the uh, them your brothers, and we ain't trying to shoot them. We trying to shoot the pale face that came over here, but they with him. You know, it is what it is." <laughs> Hey, so it's game. Hey, 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 you know what I'm That's real talk, bro. They with them, so hey, yeah. we don't know what's going on. All right, yeah. bro. Hey, we're gonna call it a day, man. Hey, we gonna be back. I'm gonna call you. I'm gonna call you tomorrow, bro. Uh so so we can get set up for the next one. Hey, y'all, man, hit that like, man. Like I say, we already know that boy Raw be bringing that heat, bro. I'm telling you. Like, so this is we just warming up, man. We're gonna be back. So, uh, yeah, it's um, Hotel. P, you want to say something, Rod, before we close that? I don't, uh, nope. All right, so Islam, Hotel, Peace. You know what I'm saying? Divine love throughout the balanced universe to all. Wadu. Wadu.